Okay, Benny is all done. Put a little Vaseline on his beak. Clipped his nails. He's good. Good to go. Okay, let's go get your brother. Okay, so I think this is a big fat girl. I let her look outside for a bit and she got upset for a second, but she's okay. That seems like their beaks are dry. So, I mean, sometimes I would put um, palm oil, but in the winter it gets so hard and uh, if it's not hard, then they get orange oil on each other. Are you okay? Yeah? I'm just going to trim her nails and put something on her beak. She's got an unusual... She's a big girl. Nice and heavy. She's a heavy girl. The um, cockerels are always light and the girls are heavier. Isn't that right? Pretty girl. Oh, oh, she's got her mouth open. Well, she, she didn't a minute ago. I just put some... Uh, look at her little back end going. Goodness. That's what they do when they're, sometimes when they're going to have an egg. Okay, so I'm going to put you downstairs. She's a pretty girl. Here's a little girl. It's not as heavy as the last one. Look at how pretty her beak is. Can we see your beak? Perfect beak. And she's a little pit on because she's a favorite. Look at her tail. Generally, this might be called um, a Rosetta or a Tibetan. People call all kinds of names of the colors for quail. And um, it depends on if you're American or British. But she's got a very pretty color, very nice pattern. And you'll see, she's got the brown eyes, and you'll see that... Um, let's see if I can get it there... Um, She's got no white patches, right? Oh, that means she's slightly stressed. I just uh, put something on her beak. You okay? Gonna be okay? Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a look at her, her little toenails. Okay, so we did that real quick. And I said thank you for each one. Oh, better get you downstairs. Now this little girl, um, she's a little bit pecked at the back because that's how the cockerels will hang on and um, they actually don't penetrate it's just like a foam but they get like I'm sure it hurts their neck a little bit when their feathers are pulled out but anyway so she's a pretty girl and you can see this pattern this is an Italian pattern on the back the rest of her is white and Oh, the true whites apparently have brown eyes, but all the whites I've ever had have blue, even though I bought them from different places. So she has a nice beak. She's got blue-gray eyes. And uh, we'll just see if um, she'll get her nails clipped there. I let Each time I'm letting them look outside because they... When you let, let them look outside and it's so bright out, their, uh, the pupils dilate so you can see the real color of their eyes. And they get pretty interested. Um, it's really not good for them to just be looking at a closed-in area all the time. But what can you do in the winter? Okay, she's all done. That was pretty easy. But I think I might just uh, soak her nails just for a second. This is Titus. Whoop. Titus. Whoa. I really like Titus a lot. He's he's little. Um, the males are always smaller. Um, I don't know if that's because they are more responsible. They're always looking to make sure everything's okay. While the girls live a footloose and fancy free kind of life. Now Titus has got a couple of feathers pulled out the side and I have seen it happen. Um, you it will happen when they're mating because they can't defend themselves and then the other ones pull the feather out which is not good anyways the coloring he's got again the uh, blue gray eyes 
The coloring he has is white with ferro markings. And uh, I'm just going to check his, um, his toads, toenails. Again, we did that very quickly. I don't really put something down there for them to scratch on. I just um, clip their nails. His beak looks good. Um, they're doing really well. They're, they're going on to the six months, so they've never had their nails clipped before. Good boy, Titus. There's another pretty girl. She's not too big, though. She's one. I want to just show you this feather before I get a hold of her a little bit better. Um, I took her out from uh, being with Harry. Harry has two girls. I couldn't integrate Harry back in because he was being picked on too much. This little girl, I took her to the light and um, the sunlight, and I could see that she has very pretty blue eyes. The unusual thing about this, besides the feather, which is not as silky, it's a normal feather, um, and you can see she's way too put, um, favored, but look at this. It's like a gray feather. One of them has a pattern, but it's like a gray feather, which is very unusual. The way that they grow their feathers back in is it looks like a finger with a little bit of a um, edge of whatever color and then it unfurls. It's really quite amazing. And if they're not picked on, they will grow their feathers back really quickly. Like um, st it starts growing right away and um, it doesn't take long, like, I don't know, like 10 days. It's amazing. So I'm going to have um, a look at her nails. Pretty girl. Anyways, these new ones are, they're not really used to being handled that much. I'm i am with them a lot, but I don't handle them too, too much, so it's part of the reason. And then um, I, sometimes you can get them ready for nail clipping. Like, it was really easy with her um, by just washing their little feet. Like, if it's a little bit dirty, then you can wash them, and then they... You know how it is if, if suddenly somebody starts touching your feet, it feels kind of ticklish, but if you get your feet washed, then, you know, you feel a little bit better, so it's easier to clip their little nails. Okay, you're going to go back to Harry now. Here's a blue-eyed white with um, the Italian markings. You can see that. And it's nice to handle them one by one like this to get to know them. She's talking. She's got a very nice beak. Look at that. So we're just going to, she's um, uh, Harry's other girl. They look often to your eyes because they, they do that with the males to, to look and see. They look in his eyes even from a distance and then they know <laughs> whether to panic or not. So Anyways, I'm, uh, again, I'm taking them to the window to see what color their eyes are. Okay, she's all done. <laughs> and um, if they're closing their eyes, they're saying they trust you, so you can also close your eyes to them a little, and then they will do it back to you and say, okay, I trust you. Rufus started talking when I was showing him the outside. This is Rufus Maximus. He has beautiful brown eyes. Um, I think they call them Max, so I don't know why I call them Rufus Maximus. He's very interesting. He's got little uh, pink feet, and he's got a real neat coloring. Ever so slightly wet, but a gingery color underneath. And he's a little more red than the brown ones. He's got a bit of... Um, white on him. I guess I would call him a range, but, um, and he's got beautiful coloring on the back. I think that's called the Sierra coloring, but anyways, he's a good boy. I'm gonna look at his nails. Well, Rufus, my boy, we got her done pretty quickly, but he jumped and, um, had an issue with each and every little cut. I didn't cut him to the quick or anything, but he didn't really like that. <laughs> Did you, Rufus? Hey, eh? Okay, okay, you're gonna go back now. 
Okay, John is a, a little bit feisty, but he's good. He liked looking at the window. Um, John's always had a lot of energy. He's got the, the green band there. And he gave me a scare. When he was little, he was so funny before I knew he was a male. I'd be squatting down there with my apron on and with the bow at the back, and he would like jump up and grab him, keep repeatedly grabbing the bow. <laughs> I thought, that's a little forward for a girl. Anyways, he turned out to be a boy. And um, about a week ago or so, he gave me quite a scare because when I picked him up, it was sticky and I couldn't deal with it at the moment. But I went to him the next day and I saw he had a big sore right here at his chest and I went, oh my God, I was so scared. But I put, I washed it and dried it and I put um, some triple ointment on it and he's got a scab now, he's fine. So he was out away from the rest for, I think it was three days. I, I believe this is about the fifth day and I'm still continuing to put that on um, every day. He got a nice beak, look at his dark beak. I don't know if you can see it. It's really dark and nice. So I'm going to try and calm him down and see if he'll let me clip his nails. Oh, before I clip his nails, I wanted to show you something. John, John, John. For God's sake. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. No. Okay. No. Hey. He's got, like, a dark nail on a pink toe. <laughs> and pink nail on pink toes. He's got dark um, legs. And he's got um, dark brown eyes. So he's what you would call, um, there's various names for this. It's, uh, some people call them a, a range. So. Okay, he didn't like that. He's okay. He, he, he called a little call and he did a little honk. <laughs> but John's always been like this. He's always been feisty. But um, when he was little, he, I mean, I never really picked him up. And he was always, always coming around me and near me. But, you know, when they get to be a cockerel that's mature, they are very serious, some of them. All right, John, let's get you back downstairs. He's a male. He was being a bit feisty. And he's got this... Um, white wing tips. You can see he's been uh, pecked, uh, like pulled the feathers out of the back a bit. So he's a more subordinate male, you know, fighting for his rank. Um, he's got light brown eyes. Probably this nice little one is going to go. He's got, I have picked out three for um, a contact on uh, KGG, but she could only take two at the time, but he's quite nice. He's what I would call a tuxedo. Yeah? You get a nice tux on? I think he's got white and um, the uh, range color. The Yeah, it's nice. Nice coloring. A little bit barred there, you can see. And he's got like, um, oh, I, I think I'm going to take him and wash his little foot. See, I don't know if you can see that, but on his thumb has a little toe ball. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, you can see his wing a bit better there. I just held it up. So <laughs> I'm sorry, he got a little stressed out. When I, he seemed to be fine until I took him to the window. But anyways, you Okay. I still gotta clip your nails. But the the feet can get they're really tender tootsies. They got all these crevices and if the um when the feet are young, they're like the the ends kind of, you know, have a natural curve and things can get stuck in there. So anyways, I got them all cleaned up. Now it's time to clip your nails. Okay, he's done. Uh he was pretty good, but I didn't clip his little uh, thumbs because he's a little stressed out so I'm gonna put him back in are you okay you're okay you're okay boy you're okay boy you're okay okay let's yeah 
Let's go downstairs. Yeah, he is okay. 